Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Howdy folks, welcome back to King Boomer's channel, where we are getting into another peep -a peep reaction. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Um, I don't know when this is going to air on YouTube, but it might not even be the weekend anymore. The weekend anymore for you guys, but uh, I was laughing a lot. Uh, some of you guys noticed that Queen Boomer's baby bump is getting out there, and... Uh, so is mine. It could, I thought it could be this. That uh, you guys have noticed. Yeah, I need to get back in the gym. Um, especially when I'm going to have not a lot of sleep coming up. But uh, thank you guys for reminding me. <laughs> I, I chuckled a lot reading that stuff. But uh, anyway, let's get into another Peep Show reaction. This one's called Jeremy's Manager. And uh, again, because the... Last Peep Show reaction hasn't dropped on YouTube yet, but I'm hoping that this particular video that I'm watching it on on YouTube where they spliced all the episodes from season four and six together in one video from Jacko TV. Shout out to Jacko TV. You are the man. Um, hopefully that fixes the audio problems that I've uh, encountered doing these reactions. Um... It's hard to figure out, but uh, if there's something that where like the audio drops suddenly, it's probably because there's music in the background, and uh, I mute that for obvious reasons. So, anyway, let's get into it. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and let's get into some peep to peep. Let's react to it. Man, record company meeting, finally. Yeah, but we've got to watch it. A lot of these bastards just want to give you an advance, promote your stuff, and then make a profit for them and you. Yeah, but we've got an in. Pedge's sister's mate in the legal department. Once you're inside legal, that's it. Game over. Jeremy, super hands. I'm Callie. Sorry I'm late. Mental in the office. I'm finishing off the Chemical Brothers contract. Chemical Brothers? Wow. So, I checked out your stuff on MySpace, and I literally freaked big time. Yeah, see, I'm so right to get us on the internet. The internet's going to be massive. I keep telling you. Yeah, we'll see. Plus, I <laughs> love your name. We've changed the name. We are now curse these metal hands. I like it. So, the good news is, Universal aren't interested. Oh. But... I'm looking to source my own acts, branch out, and I'd love to sign you up. And the timing's perfect, because we're about to start a new financial year. Any questions? Yeah, uh, there are certain countries within the European Union that aren't barred from entering. You got a problem with that? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm a very sexual performer. Are you going to be able to handle that? <laughs> I, as soon as she walked in, I knew that Jeremy was just going to lose his mind. Because he's thinking about all types of sexual stuff. Yes. So, I want a yes or no right now. <laughs> no problem with that. Nope. I'm a very sexual performer. Are you going to be able to handle that? Yes. So, I want a yes or no right now. Take your time. But if there's a lot of fucking about, that for me is a bad sign. Right, okay. Wow. We finally met the man. And the man is a woman, and he's hot. What do you think? Is she for real? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, she looks like how you might think one of them might look like. We don't really know anything about her. She scares me. No, I don't trust her. Let's fucking go for it. <laughs> Great night out. You guys know how to celebrate. God, we're so horny. We're like a pair of porn. <laughs> Fuck off. I fucking... I can't handle Jeremy sometimes, man. Actually, it's a lot. You guys know that. The stars who aren't on antidepressants or anything. So, this is where the magic happens. That's right. And you're the magician. I guess so. I am a bit magic. Would you be able to show me some magic? <laughs> okay, here we go. God, we are so hot after the cab. I wonder if I'll be able to do all the stuff she was whispering in my ear. Might need a good foothold somewhere, or a harness. Is this a good idea? Drunk sex with my new manager? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. There'd only be a problem if there were complications. There aren't going to be complications. Relax. <laughs> wow, this is definitely happening. Okay, got to focus. 
It's very important for my future career development that I give my manager an orgasm. Stop dicking around, Jeremy. Let's get going. Okay, well, I'd like a bit more foreplay, but apparently I have to perform on demand. Don't be bitter. This has got to be great. Brilliant sex, then novelty bong, then watch a film together. If Mark's got around to buying a new scart lead, that is. Maybe if we got another scart lead, I could use it to plug the digibox into the VHS player. <laughs> also, with Ria, with Ria, if there's like a, a sex scene where they're actually showing... It doesn't even have to be nudity. If they're showing motion and stuff, uh, I... I uh, censor it, whatever you want to call it, because, you know, I try to be a good Samaritan and follow YouTube's guidelines. Um, sometimes there's questionable things where my video has been, uh, my reaction video has been flagged, so uh, those types of things I tend to um, be on the safe side and be like, alright, I'm not going to show that particular thing. Record straight onto that? Or I could use the analog aerial into the video and off that well, maybe switch around the- Jeremy. Yeah? Do you think this is going well? E uh, yes. No, <laughs> it's not really working. Oh. Oh, I she's talking shit. I thought it was. What's working about it? Well, um, now we're talking about it, it is maybe withering under the lights a little Look, bit. Let's not kid ourselves. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> we're just two planks of wood rubbing against each other. Do you think? If you want, I could put a finger... Let's just forget this ever happened and get some shut-eye, yeah? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, this is like <laughs> the time I made Mark turn that boring DVD off in the middle. The Killing Fields. This is probably how he felt. Frustrated. And horny. I feel like Mark feels that Jeremy's way a lot, Jeremy's getting yeah. a manager, I'm getting divorced. Maybe he'll end up happy and successful and I won't. That would be typical. Hey. I do everything society demands and die in a ditch. He sits on his ass and accidentally shits a golden egg. It must be Mark. I'm He's making tea. How about that? Did he do it the right way? What do you guys think? That's, that was one of the cool things about doing the tea video, other than the, the part I really fucked up was not letting the kettle boil all the way. Um, so thank you for that, because I didn't know it shut off at a particular time on its own. But uh, the interesting thing was watching you guys argue about which way is the best. Everybody's got their own way. And uh, each way was interesting. Callie, got any OJ? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, I think there's some in the fridge. Oh, Jesus. Hope I'm not wearing the boxes with a button missing. Don't think so. Think I have coverage. Tropicana, nice. Screw the rest, get the best. <laughs> ah, I like original. Jeremy prefers smooth, but I'm the one buying. Don't tell me he's a smooth peanut butter man, too. <laughs> That's right. It isn't as good, is it? <laughs> is there a button there? Sitting's gonna pull the thing wide open if not. Maybe it's sexy. Little glimpse of ball sack? <sighs> My date tomorrow night's cancelled on me. He's back with his ex. But I thought, aren't you and Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy and I aren't dating. We're strictly business, aren't we, Jeremy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's great, but he's really not my type. Jeremy's the kind of guy who talks the talk, but when it comes down to it, he's just never going to deliver the goods. Isn't that right? It's Damn! So frustrating. They must be <laughs> and Mark's loving it. Look at that face. <laughs> We're a rock band, yeah. If people see us hanging out with a doink like you, not being rude, you are being rude. Then that takes away a hell of a lot of our credibility. You got a bloody suitcase on wheels. Real men don't get the earth to help carry their luggage, mate. They carry it themselves. This is because of Cali, isn't it? That's why you want to come. You're trying to have a pop at the champ. No, not at all. I've always been a big supporter of you and your music. Please, Jez, I'm getting divorced. I need something to pet me up. I could do with a roadie. Someone to pick the lovelies after the gig. Pump the gear. Sniff out the street chain. Exactly. Drugs, birds and physical labour. Them's me specialties. All right, you can come. But all the time while we're on tour, you will need to shut up, all right? He can't do that. He can't do that. Look at her go. Two phones, spare battery for a Blackberry. No, I'm out of juice bullshit from her. She is so the one. So guys, good news about Festivus. They listened to your CD and they loved it. And now they don't want you to play the fest. 
What? And the brilliant thing is, I've pulled in a massive favour, and I've got you on the bill at Life 08, one of the fastest growing Christian rock festivals out. Christian? You've booked us to play a Jesus fest. It's a great circuit to get on. What do you think, Jez? It is still a fest. Yeah, but we're cool. Yeah, We've got credibility. But if we play a Jesus gig, we'll be selling our souls. Yeah, but Jesus is the best person to sell his soul to. That's his whole setup. <laughs> I vote you go for it. Well, I vote no. <coughs> Let's pull it off. Okay, one v one, Mark. Well, from a business point of view. Well, from a business point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy so so hates that Mark is even there. He's like. He's so upset by his presence. When did the roadie have voting rights? I don't come around to your work and tell you how to run your sweatshops in Burma. Keep your beak out. Super hands. Looks like you've got the casting vote. Executioners bonged it a bit of Christo. Now they all live in a fuck off bungalow in Fort Lauderdale eating cherry pie and banging cheerleaders. I'm in. I think you made the right decision. I think you made the right decision. Jeremy, we agreed not to do the funny voices after that week. Two litres of supermarket cola. I'd like to see Sting do this. That is one serious caffeine injection, my friend. Yeah, man. It's not such a drag the fest being strictly drink and drugs free after all, is it? Right up. We can still get monked. Just have to use our imagination. What are you. Hands, are you. I'm sorry. I thought he was about to take a shit in his pants. I didn't know you were stretching. I thought he was just about to take a shit. It's not such a drag the fest being strictly drink and drugs free after all, is it? What up? We can still get monked. Just have to use our imagination. What are you... Hands, are you... <laughs> Head rush. Safe. Hi, can you give my mate CD to your record company? Mmm, sexy Christian disciples. Groupies. What are you gonna do? She's not really a groupie. She spoke to the group. She's a groupie. Hey, hold on, girls. We were going to make a spliff out of not Meg and banana peel. Plus, this shit under my fingernails has probably got loads of gear in it. It's great they're doing this. You know, the download market alone for Christian Rock is estimated at 40 million plus. <laughs> I've actually put together a bit of research on... Wow. Ring binding, laminated cover, copyright oh, symbol. I'm impressed, Mark. Thank you. This is interesting. Tell me what you thought of the rehearsal today, honestly. Well... Actually, one thing did occur, not, not wanting to be horrible to Jeremy, but Superhands did seem more like the kind of person you'd expect to see in a, in a band like this. He's fuckable. I'm sorry? It's an industry term. It means someone might want to fuck him. Interesting. Forefront Superhands, sideline Jeremy. Oh, no, no I, I didn't mean... I, I... Here we go. I like how she had to explain the term fuckable. Just meant. I thought you were a business brain, Mark, but you're better than that. You're what my grandma would call a real piece of shit. Yeah? <laughs> it's a great plan. Hans is the star, Jeremy's a second stringer. Let's fuck him. That's our dick. That's Jeremy's asshole. We're fucking him. Look, Kelly, no, we, we don't have a shared dick. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> how do you mean? Do you want to date? Are you a dater? Well, I. I have been out with women, so I guess. A friend of mine is doing a little talk over at a hippie shop in Ludlow. Said I might pop in. Want to come? Okay, sure. Wow, I've got a date. I'm a real piece of shit. I bet those two things go hand in hand. Bet if I got into defrauding pensioners, the pussy would really start rolling in. Oh, this is a very assertive woman. Very assertive. Actually, the... Uh the daughter of the couple from the last episode. She was pretty assertive as well. Yes, she was. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed I brought you to this. Past life regression. What a load of bullshit. Uh, it's fine. She knows it was what fun. she wants. People always say they were like Napoleon or an Aztec princess. Come on, guys. Where are all the Chinese peasants? Where are the German toilet cleaners? <laughs> <laughs> god, I can't believe I'm dating someone I really like. I've done it right. I've done it right for once. Hey, Fucking Mark, check man. out the crystal skulls. Oh, God. I've read loads of books about them. She's funny. They were probably crafted by the ancient inhabitants of Atlantis and their powerful centers of healing. Is she still joking? Oh, right. <laughs> Fascinating theory. Oh, come on, Mark. The other stuff, no, but the skulls. 
How could you possibly make one of these except by some kind of magic? In, in a factory? From glass? <laughs> oh, sure. Come on. Could you make that? No. Could anyone? Yes. Look, Mark, <laughs> this is important to me. If we're going anywhere, I need you to tell me you believe in crystal skulls. Please don't make me believe in them. This is reminding me of uh, the worst Indiana Jones movie of them all. Uh, I was never a super Indiana Jones fan, but I liked the first three. Um, but then the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh, God, that one was so bad. And then, of course, right now, actually, in theaters, you have the new one, but I haven't watched it. Uh, it just... I don't want to see an 80-year-old Indiana Jones. Like, come on. If you're going to do an Indiana Jones... This is my opinion, by the way, not, you know, a guideline. But uh, if you're going to do an Indiana Jones movie, I'm sorry, but recast the guy. Um, have a younger actor play him. Just my opinion. But, I mean, I love Harrison Ford, but, you know, he's 80 fucking years old, man. Let someone else play Indiana Jones. I don't know. Do you believe... I do believe in crystal skulls. And what do you believe about them? I believe that they were crafted by the ancient inhabitants of Atlantis and that they're powerful centers of healing. Nah, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, science. Sorry, enlightenment. <clears throat> Sorry, logic. <clears throat> Very influential woman. Influential, well, assertive. Correct. Apart and from horny. the crystal skull sending out its invisible rays of bullshit, I think that might be my best ever sexual experience. Okay, I think we have to have a talk about the whole thing. I'm sorry, the whole... The whole sexual experience. I have to say, that was very disappointing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this what? again! Nobody can please this woman. Uh, you know what the... Uh, I saw... Maybe you guys have seen it too, but there's, there was a meme going around at one point where it, it was something along the lines of, like, if you, if, ladies, if you want your man to perform better in the bedroom, um, don't tell them afterwards. While you're in the act, just whisk, just go up in their ear and go, boo, <laughs> and just start booing them in the middle of the act. And they'll ramp it up. <laughs> oh God! What? It, what? It, what have I? What am I doing? Sometimes these reactions make me go in very weird directions. I love you guys. Hi. I don't mean to be rude, but is that the kind of thing you usually do? Well, well I, I suppose in general. What exactly did I do? Wrong. Well, it was better than with Jeremy, though. With Jeremy, I had to stop him in the middle. You stop Jeremy in the middle. I'm oh, sorry. Is this weird for you? Do you want to know? I do a, a bit. He's like a red setter bounding after a tennis ball. You're like a captain solemnly going down with his ship. Uh, well, well, that's good to know. But we can try again, as long as you're prepared for me to tell you exactly what to do. <laughs> she likes him better than Jeremy, though. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to use that against Jeremy later i don't know probably knowing these peep these wild peep show episodes it's probably gonna happen that could be a good system okay now i'm gonna take your hand and put it there you okay with that yeah now i want you to move your hand around like this you can do that right it's easy not a problem <laughs> is this humiliating it is a bit humiliating I guess the upside is that what I was doing before was humiliating in a way I wasn't even aware of. Okay, good. Let's begin the sex. I'll drive. Oh my god, this is brilliant. I'm a sex robot servicing the one. I always wondered what my fetish was, and it seems what truly turns me on is being basically absent for most of the sex act. <laughs> Look at them all. The Christians. It's not fair. <sighs> peep show man this show is so wild i could be that happy if i believed a lot of rubbish so listen hans and i've had a big chat and we're really into your idea what idea getting rid of jeremy 
that wasn't here it comes. My idea was more throw a bit more light on hands and maybe give Jez a tambourine. Look, imagine you have a chocolate bar and half of it was made of delicious milk chocolate and the other half was made of human shit. <laughs> Wouldn't you just break off the half made of shit? I really don't think that's a fair analogy. <laughs> Is that Jeremy? Is he getting baptized? Oh I my god. Out of my for a minute. Damn. The contract, the chemicals have read the appendix. Oh, I need to get on this. I've got to get back. Look, would you do me a huge one and tell Jeremy he's not playing tonight? What? Oh, oh no. no. It's, it's not my job. You're the manager. I'm, I'm just the roadie. It'll be better coming from you. You'll say better lies about him not being terrible. Plus, real world, I might not make the gig. Pick you up at five. Oh, God, I'm the messenger. Somebody please shoot the messenger. Hey, Mark, I just got baptised. This is Ronnie. He was my baptizer. Thanks, Ronnie. Peace be with you, Jeremy. Yeah, peace be with you too, Ronnie. <clears throat> Yeah, the organisers were pretty keen for me to get it done before the show. Initially, I was a bit iffy, but then I thought, you know, gig in front of hundreds of people, fuck it. Plus, there's like maybe a 1% chance that the whole Jesus thing could be true. Sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! He just baptised you and then he's like, yep, yeah, only 1% chance. This stuff is legit. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. In which case, I've got something to pull out of the bag on Judgment Day. Huh. Yes, right. Just walk him into the car park and shoot him in the back of the head. I'm Tony Soprano. He's an FBI stripper. You know what? I'm really looking forward to the gig tonight, after all. If Superhands is into it, then I'm into it. Everything's finally coming together, and everything's finally, definitely going to be okay. Oh, God, he's on a raft floating towards Niagara Falls, flicking through Heat magazine with one hand down his trousers. I've got to tell him. Uh, look, Jez, there's, there's something I, I need to tell you. It, it, it's not good news. Um, Callie told me, she, she and Superhands, they want... You're out of the band. Me? Out of the band? What the fuck? Might slip this one under the rug while he's still reeling. Yeah, because we're going out, and sh she told me she'd had this idea, and, and I said, no, don't. That, that's literally what I said. And You're screwing Callie? I'm out of the band? They can't just do this to me, can they? Hmm? Seem to get away with the Callie thing. Well, you'll have to break up with her. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now he's telling Mark what to do. Oh. Oh, this show kills me. Jez. She's trying to shaft me, Mark. You've got a dumper. It's a no-brainer. It is not a no-brainer. I'll have to think about it. it. It's a brainer. It's a real brainer. See, the, the thing is, I, I, I don't think I've ever done sex right before. Oh, you're fine, mate. Just stick with missionary. You're a sexual civilian. Leave the disgusting stuff to me. Callie's teaching me. She, she, she gives me second-by-second second detailed instructions of... What to put where for how long? That's cheating. Anyone can please a woman if she tells you what to do. You're not allowed to ask. That's the whole point. Look, if, if I really? break up with her, I don't see myself having good sex ever again. And, unless I'm, like, going on holiday to Hawaii and the plane crashes and all my fellow survivors are women sex therapists on their way to a conference. And even then, there'd probably be loads of male sex therapists there too, and they'd love that, wouldn't they? All fucking each other and giving each other tips while I sit on a rock wanking and crying. Yeah, all right, man, whatever. Let's talk to Hayes. <laughs> if we can get him on site, then maybe you can keep your pathetic <clears throat> nookie lessons going. So, did Kelly tell you about her and me much? No. God, no. Don't worry. Nothing like that. She stopped him in the middle. I'll save that for a rainy day. That's money in the bank. Oh, so he didn't use it. He's saving it. Is it going to happen in this episode, though? Because usually once they move on to another episode, it's uh, they don't really refer to much from previous episodes. Sometimes they do, but it's rare. Right, what the fuck's going on? Where's Callie? Why have you got drugs? Well, Callie came through with a bit of herb the Christos keep on the down low. Bishop Weed. Callie told Mark I'm out of the band. What the hell's going on? It's a disgrace. I'm cut up about it. I told Callie, I said, for me, this is almost a resigning matter. Right, so are you going to walk? Almost did, mate. Almost fucking did. I kicked off big time. But then I thought, 
Maybe I can work from the inside. No point both of us getting kicked out of the band. But we are the band. Look, all I'm hearing is that you're out of the band. That's what everyone's saying. That's all I'm hearing. Jez is out of the band. Now you're saying it. I'm quoting. Look, man, I'm really gutted, but me and Tara want to kick back with a bit of Barchester. So maybe you should fuck off. Right. Damn! That's the way it is. Fine. Can I take a bit of drugs? Love to, mate. Love to, but this is all mine and I want it all. So, got to be a no. Fucking hell. Damn, I kind of feel bad for, uh... Jez a little bit, man. That doesn't happen often. <laughs> it does not happen often at all. Maybe it's for the best, though, Jez. Maybe solo, you can do all the things you've always wanted. That rap thing with Howard Marks. I've got to talk to Callie. Talk around. You can be my spin doctor. Tell her why I'm brilliant, why I'm so essential to the band. Uh, okay, sh sure. Uh, just remind me again why you are so brilliant. I, I mean, I know why, but it's good to have sound bites. Callie! Callie! No, Jeremy, you can't just... Shit, he's Some entering the chamber. Happening. The sacred chamber of satisfactory mm. sex. Jeremy, let's just go. Or you could leave her a very frank note. Or... we could piss on something. No, Jess. <laughs> Fuck off! That's what it's... Why? 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 Yes, Mark. Come on, it's all fucked. This is rock and roll. She screwed me over, now it's her turn. Let's fuck this place up. We're the hammer of the gods. Oh, yeah, take that, teabag tin. Yes, no! She smashed my dreams. Let's smash her caravan. Come on! I could make the best of it. Go for a freebie on the skull. He'll get the blame. I'll bank mate points. I'm golden. <laughs> Unlucky, pal. I win. Oh, fuck! The Revenge of Atlantis. Oh, this feels good. This just feels so right, you know? Jess, how long are you going to keep going with the orgy of destruction? Because uh, I'd rather not be here when she turns up. Oh, yeah, man. No, you go. I'm going to stay. I'm going to see the look on her face. <laughs> no one screws with the Jazz man. I hope she's not too upset. Fuck it, if its healing powers are so legendary, it can fix itself. Change <laughs> 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 Throwing it upwards, that one. I don't know why I found that so funny. It, Christian security. What's he going to do? Excommunicate me? Yeah, this is going to be good. Uh -oh. Rubber double-crossing face in it. Jess, I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm sure you have. I got a call from Superhands. He's having an ego attack. He's driving to Festivus with all the windows down, shouting his own name. Reckons he's going to make a supergroup out of hard-flying Kaiser Chiefs. He's talked about that before. So, the thing is, do you want to play the gig solo? Well, yes. Brilliant. So, let's talk set lists. But there's something you should know. Am I actually going to do this? Mark, he went mental. <laughs> Oh my god! He blamed it's it on Mark! What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, this is classic Mark, I'm afraid. He does this sort of thing the whole time. He's passive aggressive. He won't say anything, he just smashes. But my skull! My crystal skull! Yeah, he hates the skulls. He smashed it and then cut his hand in a kind of mad fury. God, how could he? Well, he hates being told what to do in bed. He hates you for pushing me out of the band. I was like, dude, these things happen. But he was like, no! That's when he did the eggs. Really? Yeah. He's weird, twisted, vindictive. He draws horrible cartoons of you and then wraps them up in sausage meat and calls you a sausage muncher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. On the bright side, he wanted to shit on the sofa, but I managed to stop him. Oh my god! First proper gig. Dicked over Mark, but that's fine. This is worth it. He's what it's all about. He's having a great time. He loves it. 
Playing a one person. Ah, there she is. Leaving with the one. Not a bad weekend, all told. Got myself a girlfriend. Had the best sex of my life. Did my bit to delay the dawning of the age of Aquarius with my trusty friend the house brick. She's giving me the finger. The one is giving me the finger. Ah, yes, that's more like it. The one is gone. <laughs> the familiar gut punch of pain and confusion is back. Hello, old friend. Ah, uh, great episode. <clears throat> it was. It didn't go where I thought it was going to go, though. It was. Uh, I thought that Mark was really going to fuck things up, but actually, it was Jeremy. Um, classic. Blame everything on Mark from Jeremy there. Super hands. I I kind of wish that they showed super hands driving off, because that would have been a wild image to put in everybody's head. Fantastic episode. That, uh, I don't know who that actress is that played the lady, but she played a fantastic role in, um, I guess her name was Callie. I know that name quite well. Uh, but, yeah, she did a fantastic job. And I kind of, I hope she shows up again, actually. You know, like, sometimes there's a character that's only a one-off in the show, but sometimes I'm like, and it doesn't happen that often, but there's always... There's, sometimes there's a character in the show where it's a one-off where I'm like, man, I hope I see that character again. She's one of them. She did a fantastic job. But uh, there's only one episode left of season five. So I want to... I've noticed that the titles in the episodes all have to do with Jeremy this season. Not, not every single one of them, but most of them do. <clears throat> Jeremy's broke. Jeremy's manager. I forget what the other one was. But uh, I think that's those are the three, I think. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the reaction, guys. And I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And I'll see you next time for the peep to peep reaction or other reactions if you watch the other ones. So y'all have a great day and stay safe. Peace out.